There are so many different forms of caching out there for WordPress. There's Redis Object Cache, there's Mem Cache, there's Super Duper Cache, there's Super Cache, there's Total Cache. Okay, I made a few of those up, but the bottom line is that there are different forms of caching out there for WordPress. Hey guys, this is Pradeep, and in this episode of Social Media Byte, we're going to explore one of my favorite forms of caching for WordPress, that's WP Super Cache. Let's get started. So I'd like to explain WP Super Cache in two parts. The first part, I'm going to talk about the caching screen. When you go to this caching screen, all you have to do is to set the caching as simple caching, not the advanced format, the simple format. Once that's done, scroll down and click save changes. You're done. The second screen that I'd like to explain is the preload screen. Once you go to this preload screen, select all the check boxes available. Make sure that you are sent only less number of emails and make sure that you preload also the tags and the category pages. If you need to set the interval between two preloads, set it at 50,000 minutes, which is approximately about a month or so. So what preload does is that it creates static cached versions of each and every page on your WordPress website so that when the user requests them, it doesn't have to hit the database again and it doesn't have to dynamically render them, reducing your server load and increasing your SEO. It's that simple. The reason I like this plugin is because it's very easy to set up. There's no FTP, there's no SSH. It's literally plug, click and play. What do you guys think of this plugin? Let me know in the comment section down below. Share this video with your friends who are interested in this topic and we will catch you guys in the next one.